drunk, 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 hammer, drunk, 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 trade of the week. Oh, gentlemen and listeners, we have such a fun one to talk about tonight. This week's Drunk Trade of the Week comes from Reddit, Ceasefires on Reddit, but not spelled cease like C-E-A-S-E. -E. I think it's a play on words that I'm not smart enough to understand, but they submitted this trade. They said, I got drunk enough mid-season of 2018. So hop in the DeLorean here for a minute. Trading away my first round pick for John Brown seemed like a good idea. It wasn't, they say. Now, there's not a lot for the nuts and bolts of this trade here to get into. I think we can all appreciate this trade for what it was. It was a moment of weakness, probably. They had very high hopes for John Brown. Now, keep in mind, okay, 2018. So with just that, I want to see down this memory lane here, if everybody can put themselves in those shoes. And at the time, would you have been excited for this trade? Let's start with Zach. In 2018, mid-season, just off the cuff here, do you think you would have been happy to get John for a first round? No, not for a first round. But it's one of those things where I think you – we've all been there, right? We've, we've been at the bar. We've, we've had, like – you start to feel happy, then maybe you have one too many, like a Jaeger. And then you're you're like, and you 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 size up that guy at the end of the bar, and you think you want that smoke, and you realize that you you don't want that smoke. I think that's I think that's what we're what's what's happening here. Perfectly said. I love the smoke reference, by the way, to top that all off. <laughs> Sam, do you think that you would have been at least okay in 2018 getting John Smoke Brown for a first round? <laughs> I mean, honestly, probably because I don't even think I was in the Twitter fantasy community back in 2018. It was so long ago. So I'll probably have been like, yeah, it's fine. But I really want to know the context. Like, did that first round pick turn into like Saquon Barkley? Like, that's what I want to know. I, I need to know what that pick ended up being just to really put the screws to this guy. <laughs> you want to know the <laughs> level of awfulness that oh, you should absolutely. really be emphasizing. Here. I mean, because I, I cheated a little bit and I looked it up. In 2019, John Brown was a wide receiver too. So you got like one productive season out of him thousand yards and six touchdowns but i mean could have been a lot worse but i really just need to know who that first round pick ended up being that he gave away if you want to look at the silver lining here 2019 was john brown's best fantasy season of his career so you got him <laughs> before he exploded for that one year so i like the silver lining there dustin do you have any additional silver linings here or any life lessons that you can impart from this trade no, the only thing I can think of that would make you think this was a good idea to trade it for a first round pick is, you know, he was had that just horrible time in Arizona. And this is when he went to Baltimore. So new new landing spot, maybe a little hope for for turning things around for his career. Because I know, you know, for the most part, the fantasy community was always so hopeful that he was he was going to have that breakout. He, he definitely flashed at times, but that that would be the only thing I could think of of why you would think this was a, a, a good trade um, other than being really, really drunk at the time. But <laughs> I mean, you, you got, you know, one and a half. Okay. Seasons, I guess. I mean, but if Brown was not. the missing piece to his title run, that'd be great. But honestly, he probably ended up yeah, losing to the guy who drafted somebody really good with that future first. <laughs> like that was probably the guy that knocked him out of the playoffs. Yeah. That's oh, how karma sure. works. There's no 100%. way this ended well for him. There's no way. You guys, are we sure that the John Brown breakout season isn't still just around the corner? I mean, can we say that definitively is what I want to know. There's uh, a non-zero chance. <laughs> by the way, I'm just, before we move on to the rest of the episode, I have to cap this off here. I want to know, can anybody tell me the last team that John Brown played for and bonus points for what year it was? Anybody I'm got looking anything? at it right now, so I can't answer. Damn you, Sam. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I, I pulled it up too, so I'm not gonna answer. So Zach. Damn you, Dustin. You. <laughs> and I have no idea. The last team I remember him on was the Bills, but it's gotta be there's gotta be somebody after that. He, he went to about four spots in between the Bills. He jumped around to Jacksonville, Las Vegas, oh. and Oakland, I believe. He ended up playing a few snaps though last year for Tampa Bay. So there huh. you go. Unreal. He's the more they still technically on their practice squad. So he again could be just around the corner. That breakout, add them to your rosters now. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> there is a chance.